Alright, so guys, I'm showcasing to you my three favorite blue cane builds right now. But keep in mind that with these builds and with this itemization, this is how I've been able to transcend my LP from, I think it was around 500 LP challengers. Now I'm 1000 LP challengers, so I was able to climb pretty fast and I'd say around the span of like 10 days. Now I'm ranked 27 in NA. Right now, these are my three personal favorite builds and I'd lo love to go over them with you a little bit. And then I can show you some gameplay of it. So first and foremost, we have the high mobility lower damage build now this is something that a player named dark aura does a lot he's another cane main from you who's currently playing in korea and he's doing a really good job over there and this is one of his personal favorite itemizations and runes and this is if you prioritize mobility over having more damage output now technically you could have a lot of damage but you're not going to spike as hard you're kind of playing off the fact that you're having earlier alt resets so now playing off the fact that you have an axiom mark means you can fight a little bit more so you're kind of just more aggressive on the map i would say the runes as you can see you take treasure hunter cosmic insight so your sums are going to be up a lot faster and you're getting gold faster so faster power spikes faster mobility very high tempo very strong build if you are a very aggressive cane main my second build, which is my personal favorite, is the one I've been using a lot. It's the uh, Profane Rush build. And this is the Ingenious Hunter synergy build because Ingenious Hunter, I find to be extre extremely powerful. You're finding synergy with the Profane, with Edge of Night, with GA, and you also find yourself at a pretty nasty power spike. So you know, when you're Profane, Edge of Night, or Profane Serpents, you're able to have a Billy Haze because the reason why I kind of shied away from, you know, Yumu's every game was because some games when I needed Serpents or maybe Edge of Night, you weren't getting any ability haste if your first two items was Yumu's and Serpents or Yumu's Edge of Night. So I was like, okay, what if I try Profane? So I really like Profane and I, I love the rune that synergizes with it. It makes it way more valuable. Profane, then usually I get Edge of Night. So if they have a lot of shields, I get Serpents. And then Grudge, GA, Axiom Mark. So final item, it doesn't necessarily always have to be Axiom Mark. Sometimes I would get like Yumu's or Opportunity if I want more burst, but it's kind of just a great item all around. And now the last build, this is kind of a harder one to use, but this is a build that is amazing if you find yourself ahead like if you're starting the game 3-0 and this is the highest damage build you can get your hubris because you're getting so much flat ad ratios and then you're also able to get high mobility as well by taking relentless hunter and then you're also able to it, you're kind of able to do a mix of both but it's mainly if you're snowballing so i find this build to be if you're going to play against like a very squishy comp that you're just always able to get free kills on because hubris is an amazing item stat for stat the only issue with hubris is that truthfully sometimes you're just not able to stat it or you're not able to keep a stack of it because you just need to make sure it doesn't even need to be that high of a number you just need to make sure that you do have a uh, passive proc so you're actually getting the bonus ad for it to be valuable and then the rest is just items that getting a billy haze getting in some safety i really really enjoy these itemizations and now i can show you guys what they look like in game so okay boys so we're gonna be going over the first blue cane build of the trio blue cane builds this is my personal favorite we're running ingenious hunter we're running futures market we're gonna be rushing profane and we're going to be playing for higher damage, low mobility, which means that we're going to be looking for picks. We're going to be looking for shutdowns. Now, keep in mind, well, this build, you can play a little bit more safe, a little bit more arm heavy, which isn't necessarily the best right now, but it's the most consistent way. Because obviously, if you can get kills, kills will outweigh farm. Objectives will outweigh farm. But farm is always there. Farm is always going to be something that you can rely on every game. Whether you have a good team, whether you have a bad team, whether you have a eh team. Farm will always be good. So this is why I think this build is one of the most consistent builds. I hope it gets a Poppy. So, you kind of have to watch out that maybe she doesn't look early ganks. Or maybe, uh, it. I could actually look to do what I don't want to do. I could look to invade her and, like, throw her off and punish her a little bit. But I think I will just full clear because I can clear a lot faster than Poppy. Yeah, I think with Pathing Bot, it's not a bad idea. A little bit hard to get on at Zeri Thresh because they have a lot of, uh, height. There is Flash Ghost and then Thresh has his W. But if Bard can set me up. Can definitely get caught. We get their sums early on. It'll make it easy to camp them as well. Alright. So, with the full clear top. Not like a full clear red side, but a little bit different. So. Gonna do that. Probably a little two camps at the same time. Save me some time here. All about saving time, boys. Oh, nice. I plan to get into solo bolo. That's sweet. Oh, a lot of people are probably going to question, here's my why do you go pot or should you always go pot? I think pot is very good because if there is any form of early action, just having the extra health helps. You don't necessarily need it. 
Because your first reset, because you're taking Futures Market, you're always going to try and get a team out. So, with that in mind, sometimes it's nice to save the extra 50 gold because you know, sometimes I'm at like 10, 20 gold, and if I didn't buy a pot, I'd be at like 10, 70, and then I'd be supposed to be able to buy a team out my first reset with Futures. But, I think, you know, if, if I'm playing to be like semi aggressive, I should at least take that into consideration. Okay, so I'm popping into three top side camps and just gank mid. Despite this, gonna kick over. So she's gonna be in our bot side. And bot lane doesn't really look gankable for us. So what we can do is we can reset. And a lot of people are probably gonna wonder, why is this not gankable? But just look at their HP. They're too healthy. We don't have enough damage to actually kill anybody here. But what we could do, we can just insta reset by double longsword with the top scuttle. And then get the vision in the top side on the Poppy's jungle. And if Poppy started Raptors, I could actually invade those. I don't know if she did, but she might have. Yeah. Oh, Poppy got another kill. Uh, you know what? I could take her Krugs, though. Yeah, she did start red, but I actually could stay down here and just keep invading. Alright, well, I get a pretty nice invade, and I can also get Krups. So even though Poppy's 2 0, I think I'll let her fold next keep. If I take that shutdown away from her, no. puts a lot of the carry potential into my hands. Keep in mind, whenever enemies get gold, like a lot of gold, Got kind of like a piggy bank. You could kind of crack them open and uh, use that gold for yourself. It really depends on who the gold is actually going to be going on to. If it goes on the right target, man. Yeah. Definitely look for this because Bobby didn't actually get any damage. She's got mobility. Huh. That's interesting. But because I took both of her top side, I coach straight to my bot side, so I'm just gonna go defend that. I'm taking it immediately. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Poppy's actually the hardest guy in the cane. He's a very OP champion in the cane skin. Three quadrant farming over a Poppy is pretty good. Uh, what I can do now is probably reset and then play around this top side. Now, something I wanna tell you guys that'll help you a lot. This is something that only really like advanced junglers are using, especially in like Challenger. Okay, once again, yeah. Uh, so this play is not fully over. Alright, they see me, so it's fine. We can just back up. But something that only like challenger junglers and grandmaster junglers are gonna utilize is no matter when you're on a side, you always want to make sure you're watching the lanes nearby that side. So I cleared my bot side, which means I'm gonna be playing top side. So I always look at the lanes, and if there's a kill, I prioritize that over the farm. Or if there's an invade, I prioritize that over my own farm, right? Oh, I see Poppy out here. I prioritize going to top side. And because Poppy had just getting free kills, she's able to just do whatever she wants. She's reset immediately, so I know that she's gonna go to her top side to try and defend it. That's why I'm going straight to the Krugs, because she's likely to go to her red first. Whenever you first go to your jungle, you always go to the buffs. She's not. She went straight to her raptors, I don't know. Oh, she did. <laughs> Alright, cool. Got the camp, got a Dark Harvest stack. Got some orbs. Uh oh, might be dead here. Kinda had every sun, did they? <laughs> okay, I got a lot of orbs though. She flashed. That sucks. Damn. Even mid rotated there for us too. I thought we could maybe get a kill trade on her, but I guess not. Alright. <laughs> Oof. I got my blue from now. I also got my item. By the way, if this was Karis Mai, we would unironically win this Hello, Lillian game. Rose. Hi, OMG. 3333. Hello. How's it going? This one's looking pretty grim, fellas. <laughs> How much we can do about it? I try to get some shutdowns. I have my form now, so maybe. At least the good news is I didn't get the wrong form. Cause yeah, when you get the wrong form, oof, tough game. There's one. Come more of those, and we can win this game. All 
Oh, he just left. Nice. I built the Kapapi here too. Oh wow, that's good. All right, let's go get the uh, rift. That was everything I needed, all in one play. Nice, do that a bunch. See, that's kind of what was my plan earlier. Just get right off this guy for free and just keep doing that. <laughs> Before a little camp invade while we're at it. Okay, now they're looking for Darius, which means we look for Pit Tower. It's another objective bounty. It's awesome. Yeah, just stand behind them. So if they like go all in, I can just kill them after. Okay. And that was a perfect time to get a, a last whisper here. And get you, and get you, and get you. And nice. Pretty well for ourselves. Alright, we live it. Gotta kill. We just gotta get out, I think, because I'm a lot of the strength, and... I mean, if they're comfortable fighting without me, all I can really do is bits and pieces. Sure, I use everything. Kill there. Is that say, uh... That's an ingenious under stack for me. I didn't get that one yet. So, killing Thresh is actually not bad at all, like, using everything for Thresh there, because I don't have to use my Flash or anything, right? I gotta use all of her kit as well, so... That's worth it. See, this is kind of like a funny showcasing of this build, because this build isn't the one that's known for its high mobility. But just because Kane has such like good built-in mobility, that's why sometimes you don't really need it, like, unless you're like really aggressive. As you can see, this game I'm playing pretty passive. I'm playing pretty relaxed. I'm not like oversending anything. I'm just like using my way to the dub. Nice. Good. Another shutdown. I don't mind sharing shutdowns either, especially with the boys. The boys are doing good. Why not? Over here. Try and defend this. If we get a good bard ult here as well, that'd be great. Try. Ooh, damn, that hook hit me. I, I was not expecting that hook hit. How bad? I accidentally got my edge and I popped by uh, what we call it too. Oh, Darius going off. Nice. Good job, Darius. Shouldn't have the damage to kill this guy, yeah. I like they all could have died there, but all good. I, I played that fight pretty bad. How bad? I, th I thought they'd be able to kill a colleague without me, to be honest. Oof, that's tough. Oh, that makes things a little bit harder. Two spites at the same time. This game might be over. Oh, yeah, it's over. Wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh never mind.
Losing to it is. Mostly not, not game losing. I'm grudge now when I reset. Graphics for the builds on your Twitter look so clean. Thank you. Fred Echo made it. Is amazing and wonderful. I love her so much. Oh, oh it's fine. I'm just on the uh, on my master account today, Paling. I was doing informative stuff. I don't really mind about losing this. This is one of those games where. I mean, I thought I could full clear and that would work out, but I forget that in Masters, people don't really respect, like, gank timers. Yeah, Masters and Challenger is a real day and night cycle because, uh, what's very obvious in Challenger is very hard for players of the CLO to, like, understand or read. Sometimes I forget that, to be honest. Goodbye, Akali. Ooh. Oh, nice. Good job, Darius. The dragon out. Yeah, I just played the zone the Akali off, and I guess we just had like a good angle. Some good poke. And I just gotta look for like a big engage on us. Try to make a hero play. Very common in Masters Elo. Oh, wait, she did. Oh, that's surprising. Yeah, I was gonna say, losing two inibs is not really game losing. As long as you don't lose that third inib. We have a lot of time to stall and farm this out. By the time our inhibs are respawning, the Baron's gotta be up. So, we could also like look for that. We're gonna get like a whole bunch of farm and XP, and then there's gonna be a Baron fight, so realistically, we have a lot of time to kind of like exist. That's why I made sure to uh, shove this wave out as much as I can here. If they were to pressure that bot play again, well, I don't think they would because they've been the opposite side of the Baron. See, the only thing is in this kind of setup, you just have to make sure that you're not dying free. So like, I don't want to go too deep into my jungle. I want to just kind of like chill. They're looking to win games, you know what I mean? They're looking to be a wiener. A wiener. I could, I could look at some. Oh! Okay, we play survival. Actually, no, we kill. Now we live. Hit her. <laughs> yeah, they actually gave me enough space, enough time to get some kills there, so that was good. Nice. Baron, 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 Baron. Nice. Yeah, I think we win now because uh, we've been farming out two inibs for free and we get the Baron. We've gotten every shutdown, uh, every objective bounty. This is how easy games can be from behind, boys. Keep that in mind. Like, this is how easy. Uh, Kiana's coming before I am. Kiana's coming before I am. Yeah, she was so pressured to move there that she didn't realize that them fighting a 5v5 or whatever, it's not smart. They don't win f team fights anymore because they uh, blew all their advantages. Oh, we, we, we were playing to end here. Ow. Okay. Yay! Ha! Ah, damn, I barely missed my W. Alright, all good. <laughs> ah, nice try. and shambles. Yeah, honestly, I thought I'd be able to get both kills this game, but I did not. Ooh. Speaking back door. I like your thinking, partner. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm going this item. Gonna be going uh, Acti Mark. It's my final item. How we can do a backdoor? Honestly, we don't even need a backdoor. We can just team fight him too. I have my flash. Flash pretty much just guarantees I'm gonna be able to like just nuke somebody. Probably the Akali. Cause Kiana's playing really safe. She's like avoiding me like the plague. So I'll probably go for the Akali. Kiana's not really like doing anything. She had like a big gold advantage, but just played too skittish because she didn't want to give up her shutdown bounty or whatever. It happens a lot. 
players don't want to give up their bounties and then they just die for free. I'm gonna like slow push this, that way someone has to come here. I didn't think she was right there. Why did you ult me? Guy. Oh, Kana and Poppy is old, so. I'm at him. Sweet. If I get really deep into their base and if way TP's in, we just auto it down, we win the game. Pretty winnable. The issue is that their blue buff is spawning right now, so. Oh, okay, damn, they saw me. I think they noticed. No, 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 guys, what are you doing? Pressure something. Every corpse a lesson, every threat. Ah. What? Okay, I mean, this is still worth for Baron. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I still got the Baron, so that's good. <laughs> Half a minute on the Baron! Or not on, on the Baron, on me. On the me. Fighting without me, you guys are palsy. I'm going. Let's keep chasing. That was not the plan. Bye bye. Go ahead. This is a fun game. Oh, it was a 40 minute one. Damn, I didn't even realize. Yeah, it just goes to show that persistence is really key. I hope this game didn't make you guys think that this build is weak, because trust me, this build. Is my personal favorite. I love this. I literally dropped 20 kills before this game with this build. It just like I said, there's a lot of uh, reasons why I'm not dealing like the maximum damage output. I mean, they have Mount Soul, they have Poppy, they have like so many obvious threats. One last kill for KD8. GG's. So, boys, now we're going to be doing the second build that I like to run, and this is uh, Mr. Dark Aura's personal favorite. This build, like I said, if you like to play really aggressive with Kane. This is the build for you, and I think you're gonna really like it. So, I mentioned this earlier on, but I kinda wanna mention this again. I think it doesn't matter. Your your runes and your build does not change how you're gonna path. Always try and path, you know, the same. Like, just like, keep that in your mind, like how you wanna path. So because we have a pretty aggressive bot lane here, a pretty safe bot lane, I don't think pathing for an early game bot will do anything for us. So we're probably just gonna do a full clear down. I forgot, like, I, I forgot to mention this, but the runes, let me go over that real quick as I'm clearing. I'm running Treasure Hunter and Cosmic Insight instead of Futures Market and Ingenious Hunter. You don't need a Genius Hunter because you're not getting that many item CDs to lower. Emus, of course, but you don't really need Emus to be on that low of a CD for it to be as impactful as it is. It's more so for the out of combat movement speed. That's why it's so good. Uh, the active OMC is good, but it's not the main reason why the item is so good. That's what I'm getting at. And uh, yeah, Treasure Hunter will help you get like, faster power spikes as well. I like how I use Futures Market. But this one, you don't have any, um, you know, you don't have to invest any money. You just get it for free. Then Cosmic Insight will help with having your CDs be up more often. So you could play, like I said, more aggressive. So you can make more flash plays. Your smite is up a little bit quicker. So you don't have to worry too much about not having the uh, Propane Hydra to farm faster. Albeit, keep in mind, having Propane Hydra definitely does make you clear faster. But you don't clear as slow because you do have your smite up more often. So just a little food for thought.
Quick in the autos. Hopefully before his ECD back up. Nice. And now I could reset over here while also putting some people in the enemy jungle. And now keep in mind, you're not going to be going a TM at rush. You're going to be rushing Yumu's, so I'm going to be getting a Dirk and Chord. So another reason why people like uh, Yumu's a little bit more than TM at is because for Profane, your first item is going to be around 300 gold. And for Yumu's, your first item is going to be around 2700 gold. I mean, I don't like the fact that you don't get any ability haste from Yumu's, but like I said, if you're just from running around the map, from a fighting, it works out really well for you. This is very good for matching tempo with early game junglers. So a Viego is a perfect opponent to say, hey, you know, I can definitely do this setup doesn't have any uh, control because, I mean, he has mid-prio, but I do have full control because, you know, Karma TP's back. This is my first smite. Whenever you have two smite charges, you use your first one on the first camp and then save your second one for the last camp. Oh, he was barely out of range. That was scary. I have no idea what's going on here. I'm so confused. Huh. Kill this guy, please. This is so illegal. <laughs> I didn't even get an assist, but like I'm so confused. Oh wow, Diego actually opted to go for the dragon instead there. It's really interesting. If he follows through with the invade of my bot side, he probably will. So I'm just gonna go take a stop side. And I assume Viego invaded me, which is perfectly fine. I don't need a reset right now because I do have my ult, which means I'm quite strong on the map. Oh, this is a pretty good angle to try and look to kill the vein. Wait, wait. Never mind. There's some monkey business going on. The monkeying around going on right now. Maybe a vision? Wow, oh, she even gave me the kill. That is very sweet of her. If I get form off that, I swear to God. Oh! I'm staying, I'm staying. Every Kane main out there is watching me right now, and they're so proud of me. They're like, yes, Karis, my. Yes, you stay. You get that form. I will. I will get it. Oh, there she is. Probably so confused. She's like, "Why did you do this to me?" This makes no sense. Oh, it makes perfect sense, actually. I could dive or two. No, never. Dives are always worth more gold than, or kills are always worth more gold than camps. As long as it's a guaranteed kill. That's pretty damn guaranteed, I'd say. All right, so instead of invading him, I'm just gonna reset. Then I can path up and look for the grubs. Get six grubs. Normally I don't play for six grubs, but this is actually a pretty good situation to get it. Go kill Vayne and then fight this if we need be. I love that. And because you're so much stronger, so much earlier on, you're able to get a lot more done on the map early. So, like I said, very snowball -y. So if you like to play very aggressive early on, this is the build, this is the runes for you, my boys. If I could, I would play nothing but Kane for the rest of my life. But, you know. Sometimes you guys find yourself in comps where maybe you don't want to pick Kane. Maybe he's not best. Well, friend Karismai is here to show you that you know what? No matter what you're doing, you can do it. Will they get a kill here on this? Never mind. We are so doomed. Dead number advantage. Oh no, she killed Diego, that's good. Gotta shut down. Oh, we could look for this. I wanna fight it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they use a lot of their CDs here, so. Now we get this objective. Wait. We can uh, use this objective to kind of pivot towards the uh, the dragon as well. We get the dragon, we're vibing. All right, I have an idea. If Vayne stays here, I probably can get behind her. Oh, she is, she's right there.
Yeah, I gotta just play it like that. Oh, that was close. Let's try though, let's go get the direct. Yeah, cause we got Vayne, I got her flash, I got her ult. Yeah, see I wanted to use Rift so I can like get behind her. She just kind of like locked in there. She Wait, what? That W didn't hit? I'm actually surprised. Oof. You know if I get a kill or two here, I could get my ult back up. Only my team was here. Oh, the infernal specs. Oh, and he lives. Oh, and he lives. Oh, I'm so... Dude, oh my god. For all you Yuma's enjoyers, I'm sure you're, you're losing your mind to that one. You're... Holy, the best Evelyn in the world. Give me that right, my boy. Let me hold on to my ult here. I almost got my Q on that guy. Yeah, just trying to zone. Also, yeah, we go do the Baron. I saw my ulti. Honestly, I forget. With with Axie Mark, I don't really need to hold on to my ult as much. I can just kind of use it. I could use it earlier on to save HP, but I'm just so used to doing the other build that I forget. Axie Mark is really nice to have. Very satisfying. Very satisfying. Okay, we gotta watch out for the big Nebula. I think he might have it. It's been a while since he one of those of us. Oh no, we're fine. Perfect. Oh, there he is, though. See, so just ulti him right away. Kill him. Keep in mind with Cosmic Insight, you also get uh, item haste as well. So, if you're not running Ingenious, you can still get a little bit from Cosmic Insight with the setup. So, get the value for Yumus and for um, uh, GA. That thing's actually impactful. Yeah, very. We get a bunch of them. See, they have to get a bunch of them to, to, to be impactful, though. Oh, look at that damage. That was one W. Oh man, I'm trolling. Ooh. I want to make a really fancy play there. Unfortunately, I did not. <laughs> I can't hit her with my W. She has such a little tiny hitbox. Oh, hello there. <laughs> oh, did you guys blink? Did you miss him? <laughs> What do you guys want to see? Go oh, bye bye. I can watch anybody. Anybody? Anytime. Ah. Yeah, it's very important to understand your damage output because then you can just stuff like that. Because we have grubs too, which is kind of like stuff like the super arc where. Ah! I got Lulu'd! Okay, now I definitely lost my S. Plus. I wanted to end this game with a big shebang, instead, I just ended. I had so much damage, I literally could have killed them all, but I, I it said, it's okay. GG's! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're doing a hubris blue game too. We're running a Relance Hunter, got Cosmic Insight. This would be a good one. It's uh, one of my, one of my many, many, many blue team build setups. Actually, no, there's three. Part of the trio setup. Just like me, I make a lot of mistakes, you know. Try not to be so, wait, what? No way she saw me, no way she saw me. No way she saw me, guys, no way. There's no way. She would have just comboed me, right? That was so smart of me to ult. I ulted because I was like, oh yeah, she 100% has got a shield. Got a clip on Glukin? Yeah. I don't like it that much. I, it's not my cap it. Chill inside this lady. Nice. Oh, we got that juicy hubris, boys. Now, see, I love this itemization just because, like, the Relentless Hunter for the movement speed, so if you get a lot of stacks, you don't have to worry about being slow. You get a lot of ability ace, you get a lot of damage. Let's keep the hubris, like, stacks procced. Oh, baby. You're vibing. Well, pro play would have to be fun for me to want to push for it, but it's, it's just not. I don't want to, I don't want to, like, grind that hard with a camp that isn't in. Kind of a dummy boy. I have my hubris proc here, so I might actually be able to get some kills. 
I gotta make sure that I'm factory and that Vanna has uh, royalty. So I'm gonna stay. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna stay like in front of her, not behind her. So we just get a kill guarantee there. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Are you low rent? Uh, we're playing in master. Catch up. I love Tristana. I play against Pobelt or Tristana all day. If you're not Pobelter, I'm gonna destroy you if you're Tristana. But I even beat that guy a bunch on Tristana. I'm close to our Axie Mark. Because we have Cubers, we can stay on the map like extra long. That's so much so much strength. Okay, we get Axie Mark. We didn't have this much damage, it's nice so we just have your ult up. I suppose you could get Grudge at this point, but I've tried it and I always liked Axie Mark more, but I I did this build. This used to be my favorite build. This used to be what I always used until my new build, but yeah, this build works out pretty well. It's just very feast or famine. Like, I'll have days where I win all my games with this build, and I'll have games where I just lose them. Oi! Oh! Hello. Oh! Oh! You live. <laughs> I live. Wow. The fact that I didn't just kill them all there is kind of crazy to me. I got my hubris proc, so maybe I can now. I also have axi marks, so my ult's gonna be up a lot faster. Rift is usually best to send mid. That side lane, believe it or not. I lane's only if you're trying to give somebody like tower gold. I don't need tower gold. I already got a bunch of gold. Oh my god, my E ran out like the worst time there. Got a bolt. Now maybe we can do Baron. Let's get it. Alright. So at this point I could get like defensive items, but I think I do want to get more damage, like a last whisper, just because he only stack in armor. Make sure I'm doing as much. I could always be the one to split bot right now, to be honest. Throw the ulti, throw the ulti, throw the ulti. Sayonara. Hey, give us some Maokai. Glad he reacted to me there. But see how like feast or famine this build is? Dude, I'm glad I actually got to show you guys how good this build can be. Cause like I said, it's either going to be really good or really bad, depending on how aggressive you're going to be. And just because I was able to like understand, okay, I'm going to get a bunch of free kills. Cause I mean, they have a Janna, they have double ADC. It's and it's Leah, it's pretty easy to find picks. I think, honestly, Edge of Night might have been a better option than Grudge here. Like a good defensive item for that. Their team. Yeah. Yeah, that's the fun thing. Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Ow, ow! Jesus, hit me with the ramped up tower shot. Could kill somebody. Help back up. Oh, whoa, whoa, what am I doing? Jesus, bro, I was like sidestepping into it. You guys forget something? Oh, what the hell? I hit that? Did you forget something, MF? Was it me? Did you forget me? Ow! Ooh. Damn it. Alright, GG's. Well, I hope you enjoyed the trio builds, boys. The Hubris, as you can see. Quite the snowball build. Let me show you my late game stats. Wait, no, I don't get to show you it fully stacked. I like 5 HD. Oh, well, hope you enjoyed it.